Hello and welcome to our series of short interviews for International Women's Day. This is brought to you in collaboration with Vista International and Maritime CEO. Today we have with us Amreen, who's working as an ETO with Synergy Group. Amreen, please tell us a little bit about yourself. Good afternoon, everyone. My self, ETO Amreen Bano. I am in training since more than six years. I started my career with Shipping Corporation of India. Then I, uh, then I switched to volume ship management to explore myself with the monthly national crew. And presently, I'm working with Synergy Ship Management on tanker vessels. So far, it has been a wonderful journey for me. I'm enjoying my job. I love. I do a lot of troubleshooting on board. So this is all about me. All right. And Amri, tell you. us, how come you decided to join the CFA profession? Well, thank you, ma'am. Uh, this is a question which I get everywhere and like on every ship I get to know about this question. Uh, like, and moreover, like as an electrical officer, why did you join this field? You know, so ma'am, I always target the thing which I scared the most. And electricity was one of them, you know. So uh, it sounds funny, but still I remember the shock which I got during my childhood days. It was so hard. And it's strong, you know. I can still feel the feel the feel like like it was how to pull me towards it, you know. And it was not once; it was like once or twice, you know. So it was like, however, like by God's grace, I am alive, you know. And then after that, I started thinking like it's calling me again and again, you know. Then I need to work with it, and I need to understand it. Then after that incident, the electricity became my major interest, you know. And then during my college days, then I started exploring about it, you know. Then and in like where I can be close to the electricity, in close touch with the electricity. Then I learned about machinery, you know. And the more I was researching about this field, more I was listening towards it to become the part of it. Then after that, like I came to know about electrotechnical officers, and then immediately I decided I can become an ETO. And uh, however, it was a challenging decision for me because none of my family, relatives, and friends, nobody was there from the shipping. And the uh, ratio of the lady, women's seafarer also, was very less in shipping. So, but uh, with the confidence and positive support of my family, I joined shipping. And today, proudly I can say that I became first lady, woman ETO, uh, holding an Indian COC. You know. That's wonderful, uh, Amreen. We are so mm -hmm. proud of you and so yeah. honored that you're with us today. Uh, so what do you love the most about this profession now that you're in it? What, you. what really drives you the most? Yes, I'm, I'm a, actually, I'm a nature lover. So uh, on board, being on board, I have the most is uh, morning sunrise and sun, sunset. You know, early morning I get up and like I go out and like admire the nature the beauty the sunrise and the energy of it. Like it is a very beautiful start of the morning, you know. I cannot miss it to see every morning. And this is what we don't get it anywhere else at shore. I miss it every day when I'm at home. And the same in the evening, the calmness of dawn and the moonlight in the night. In night I go out. Like when there is a moon, I love to walk in the moonlight. And uh, sometimes when there is no moon, I look to sky and sky and like all this, it is full of the stars and blanket. I cannot like close my eyes to like, it is so beautiful and wonderful, so relaxing and refreshing uh, like that. And I like uh, the same time I see lots of like falling stars and then I wish, you know, uh, those things I don't get it here. You cannot get it here, you know, and nature can find more pure pure out of vast ocean you know away from traffic pollution and everything so and sometimes like uh, the birds flying past to our ship and uh, dolphins they are uh, like uh, sailing towards our ship with our ship you know uh, these things we don't get every day but sometimes like when we are going to africa or sometimes we get to see it and i just love watching those things you know yeah, I, I can I can relate to that because my father uh, was a captain and my mother used to tell me that the dolphins used to race with the ship and it was a really yeah. beautiful sight. So 
I can relate to what you're saying. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. What can be better than that? Being on board and watch it every day, you know. Yes, absolutely. And Amreen, uh, you know, the yes. recently with the uh, with the COVID nineteen situation, there has been a huge issue with the crew change, and a lot of seafarers are um, under a lot of stress due to the same. Uh, what is your take on that? And have you been impacted by the crew change crisis? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Of course, I was. I will share my experience. Yes, we understand that too. Twenty twenty had been very challenging for everyone in every industry, and it had been very difficult time for us also. And being a seafarer itself is a challenging working on board. And being on board during this situation, we have to understand it like it is not in everyone's control. So in this situation, we have to keep our mind and physical health my healthy. We have to be self motivated. you know and being as an eto also you know electricity is nobody's friend so like if if a sign off is getting extended and it is getting delayed and uh, we are on board and working with some critical equipment some machinery and our mind is not present there it is at home so like if we we are not able to isolate something properly or we touch some live wire or one wire from here and there so it may be life threatening you know and uh, uh, like uh, it can it can be disaster to the ship and other fellow crew members so we have to be self motivated and uh, like we have uh, our job on board our job required is like mental presence is most important so during this we have to remain stay strong and self motivated and during my crew i will share about my experience how it was uh, we were uh, going from uh, rastanura from saudi to china So our sign off in that way, we were in load, loaded passage. It was in Singapore, so, but we were not able to sign off in Singapore because we were in loaded pa- passage and their ETA was we have to reach on time. So owner did not permit it to sign off in loaded voyage. So they told in return voyage you will be getting relief. But in return voyage, when we return, okay, five days, okay, we can be after ten days uh, sign off. Five days coming and going. Then we return in Singapore. Regulation came, lots of regulation. and then we were again not able to relieve we were, uh, in singapore and the crew was getting delayed like more than 11 months with me on board so it was a difficult situation but we all were like every day we used to organize some games uh, get together or something like so we meet with each other every crew and we see their face so we know how they are you know everybody is healthy then written also we did not get relieved then company promised okay we will be relieved in uh, sri lanka so okay we will reach sri lanka and just before our day reaching to the sri lanka we got a circular or uh, from the singapore government and the from the company they have changed the regulation uh, they don't have like for indian sea fire they are not allowing sign on sign off because the covid rate is increasing in india so again now this is the singapore government regulation we will not be relieved again it is a one month already passed waiting waiting with the luggage then now what to do again we will reach to the rastanura in between there is no stop and then rastanura again 20 days then uh, and rastanura there is no sign off in saudi what to do then like all the crew it was difficult for them captain sab to motivate them but still we were then our ship was been diverted our ship was been diverted to the kerala and then we were being relieved and the day came for relief we were happy okay today we will get relieved 11 o'clock morning we all were ready with the luggage it was in deck then what happened uh, uh, they said like uh, uh, my reliever electrical officer reliever he got covid positive so he is not coming they are waiting for them then again like i was today also i will not get relief everybody will go and i will only remain on board you know everybody was uh, teasing me and everybody was tense you know because uh, we were hoping to sign up then we were waiting waiting then evening 4 o'clock finally they did again covid test and there was some problem with the report he was been negative finally i will also get relieved some peace in mind <laughs> then what happened evening weather was calm and everything from the morning as the boat we can see our boat is coming reliever are that side and we are waiting for the on deck to just get relieved so at the boat is coming closer the sea got so rough storm rain everything started all together you know i made a video also on that a uh, small glimpse of that you know and like a boat is rotating here and there around the ship to get it down and like it was a situation like 
we will we cannot because life is more important than anything so nobody can risk the life and it was so rough then like uh, two days also maybe will not get relieved our luck is not that it was 13 as people say 13 is the most unluckiest day <laughs> so we were experiencing that on that day then finally anyhow we got it down and we got relieved so in addition i wanted to personally thank to the synergy to working round the clock to relieve us onward and like kudos to synergy because for diverting the ship it required lot of permission paperwork and you know uh, planning lots of things and like they were working round the clock to relieve us and finally we were got relieved uh, it was a first time uh, very different experience for me i would say in my life it was the toughest sign off till the last moment you can see the reliever and it's still like there is no hope whether they will be come up or we will be able to get it down you know situation was like that correct amreen but i do hope that uh, this does not dissuade uh, for the young people from joining the profession and you have faced it very strongly um is there anything that you would like to say to the young people out there who want to join this profession is there any yes yes uh, it means like uh, the answer to understand the situation because the situation uh, every systemic so this is not uh, like uh, youngster uh, i'm sure that they understand the situation mm. situation cannot be the reason to give away from joining the ship you know much in a way so it is for the temporary it will be we hope it will get uh, better sooner correct and any inspiring messages for all the young women out there who look at you and think even if amreen has done it even i can do it what would you like to say to them see if you want to join a career with more more of practical experience then you should join merchant navy you know here you get to learn more more and it is a very rewarding career you know where you get learning uh, where you get a learning opportunity global exposure and with a good handsome salary you know however ma'am i see lots of uh, lots of youngsters they are getting uh, trapped with the agents you know and they are losing their uh, their hard earned money their family hard earned money and uh, i i personally face a cadet uh, who join who was a cadet he fall in a trap with the agent he paid around 2.5 lakhs or something and then uh, the agent put him on the ship as a ab and somewhere his cdc he was uh, caught and his cdc and it was with the dg and from the two year he is writing to the dg every day to get his passport and thing so i would advise to all the uh, youngster do proper research not nothing to be in hurry take advice from the friends seniors or google it or uh, can if if any of help i can so they can he can drop me a message he or she i will be very happy to help them but uh, do not fall in the traps so before joining any 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 institute itself always remain healthy and healthy and uh, happy mind is always uh, you will able to take a good decision and for especially for the girls i would like to say the things have changed a lot you know and still it is changing for better good so uh, they have to like uh, you have to stay strong and determined everybody has different mouth and people will say different things but you don't have to distract from that and you don't have to like uh, uh, disturb it should not disturb you whatever people say so stay determined confident and join merchant navy thank you so much amreen i think that's perfect uh, very motivating to the youngsters to join the merchant navy good luck with your career and we would love to stay in touch thank you so much thank you so much ma'am nice talking to you Thank <laughs> you.